Motorcycle Grand Touring is not a hobby, it's a way of life. Technically, it can be done on a smaller displacement cruiser. But let's face it, a big boreful dresser is a much better tool for the job, even if it costs an arm and a leg. So whether you're a happy prospective buyer of one of these beautiful machines or just a window shopper, today we present you a lineup of the newest luxury touring motorcycles. Before we begin, subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell and enjoy the ride! BMW R18 Transcontinental and R18B The BMW Motor Red's ultra-fresh cruiser family continues to enjoy a successful debut and adds two touring additions for the 2022 model year. Both the R18 Transcontinental and the R18B are tailored for the long-distance comfort and come standard with a fork-mounted fairing, a windscreen and twin 27-liter side cases. In addition, the new bikes are equipped with a heated grips, rider floorboards and a new single-piece seat. There is also a modern infotainment system with a 10.25-inch TFT screen. The higher-spec Transcontinental builds on the B edition package, but gets even more long-haul accessories. It boasts a taller windscreen, wind deflectors, heated seat, two additional LED front lights and a 48-liter rear top case. The latter easily accommodates two helmets while leaving free space for other stuff. As usual, the R18s are powered by 1802cc big boxer engine, which delivers 91 horsepower and a peak torque of 117 pound feet. Indian Pursuit Back in 2021, the Challenger Bagger became the Indian's answer to the Harley-Davidson Road Glide. In a nutshell, the Pursuit is its expected fully dressed evolution and a rival to the Road Glide Limited. The luxury Grand Tour has the same cast aluminum frame and a 1768cc liquid-cooled Power Plus V-Twin mated to a 6-speed transmission with an assist clutch. This 122 horsepower big bore motor is big on torque with 128 pound feet of peak twist at 3800 rpm. Rock solid on road stability is ensured with a chassis mounted fairing and optional electronically adjustable Fox rear suspension and inverted front forks. The bike has a total of 35 gallons of waterproof remote locking storage, electronically adjustable windshield, available heated seats and cutting-edge technology in the form of a Ride Command Plus 7-inch infotainment, cruise control, keyless ignition and full LED lighting. The Indian Pursuit is sold into trims, limited and dark horse, which could be further enhanced with the premium packages. Harley-Davidson Street Glide ST and Road Glide ST Paying close attention to the customer requests over the last few years, Harley decided to give their Grand American Touring family an adequate performance boost right from the factory. The updates start with the visual changes, as the GT models get two new paint options, Vivid Black and Gunship Grey. All the mechanical components are blacked out and complemented with the bronze accents of the multi-spoke wheels, cylinder heads, tappet covers and pushrod tubes. Both bikes come standard with a 117 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 V twin engine that makes 106 horsepower and 127 pound-feet of torque available at 3750 rpm. Furthermore, the ST models feature a 3-inch travel, hand-adjustable rear suspension and Brembo 4-piston calipers. You also get a 6.5-inch DFT display, Daymaker LED headlights, ABS with linked braking and saddlebags. Additionally, for the extra $999, the gadget's portfolio can be extended with a cornering ABS, drag torque slip control, vehicle hill halt and tire pressure monitoring.
BMW K1600 GT and GTL. Introduced to the market back in 2011, the BMW K1600 family arrives with a well-deserved redesign that brings to your 5 compliancy and raises the level of technology. Today, we are interested in the GT Sport Tour and the luxury version labeled GTL. Both of them benefit from the new full LED adaptive headlights, a huge 10.25-inch TFT screen with anti-reflective coating, and a USB-C charging port hidden in the smartphone compartment. The GTL also gains audio 2.0 system as standard equipment. The 1649cc straight 6 engine still produces 160 horsepower, but these are accessible 1000 rpm earlier at 6750. The torque output increases from 129 to 133 pound feet at 5250 rpm. As before, the K1600 lineup continues to rely on the BMW dynamic electronic suspension adjustment that gets revised calibration. Finally, the new 6-axis IMU gives the bikes three riding modes and dynamic traction control. The best way to support us these days is to watch this video till the end and smash the like button. We would also appreciate you joining the discussion in the comments below. Let's proceed. Jack Daniels Indian Challenger Dark Horse The long-standing partnership between America's first motorcycle company and its first registered distillery is being reinforced once again with this 2022 Challenger edition limited to 107 units. As usual, the bike is designed in cooperation with Clockworks Custom Cycles. Its unique exterior draws inspiration from the Tennessee Rye Whiskey which gives this Jack Daniels Challenger a custom rye metallic paint with the gold and green accents. Each bike features a numbered Montana Silversmith's Batch, custom engraved rider and passenger floorboards, and a leather seat with stitching. As a part of the limited edition package, the bike gets an adaptive Pathfinder LED headlight, Fox electronically adjustable rear suspension with preload, 6-axis Bosch IMU, and power band audio. As before, the 108 cubic inch Power Plus engine delivers 122 horsepower and 128 pound feet of torque. But this time, the riders can opt for the Stage 1 air intake and oval slip on muffler kit to unleash 10% more power and 3% more torque. Harley Davidson CVO Harley-Davidson motorcycles do not get any better than the makes by custom vehicle operations. In 2022, they take the entire Grand American Touring range and freshen up its body colors and tech packages. All of the bikes in the CVO family gain the updated 117 cubic inch Milwaukee 8. This oil and air-cooled V-twin with 4 valves per cylinder produces 105 HP and 126 pound-feet of torque. Among the new paint schemes are Blue Steel, Envious Green Fade, High Tail Yellow Pearl, Wicked Orange Pearl, and Dante's Red Fade. These are distributed between the lineup that includes Street Glide, Road Glide, Road Glide Limited, and the three-wheeled Tri Glide. All the models get full LED lighting and the Daymaker adaptive LED headlamp. These touring couches get comfort heated seats with dual-zoned rider passenger control, heated Kahuna hand grips, standard reflex defensive rider systems, and Harley-Davidson audio powered by Rockford's Fastgate stage. Kawasaki Ninja H2SX Unlike the rest of the lineup, the supercharged Kawasaki offers a different kind of touring. It is a modern flagship of the world sport touring lineup. Its formidable 998cc inline four cylinder still puts out 200 horsepower at 11,000 rpm and 102 pound feet at 9,500, but this year it gets optimized cam timing and upgraded transmission. Besides some minor cosmetic tweaks to the headlight and exhaust, the Japanese have seriously improved its touring capabilities with the high-tech electronics. 
The Advanced Radar Assist system was created in cooperation with Bosch and uses two radar sensors to enable such active safety aids like forward collision warning, blind spot detection, and adaptive cruise control. Expectedly, the new H2 gets Kawasaki's latest semi-active KECS electronic control suspension that links Showa's Skyhook software to a pair of 43mm inverted forks and a balance-free rear cushion monoshock. Lastly, the Ninja H2SXSC sports a 6.5-inch Bluetooth-enabled spin infotainment and, depending on the market, easy to attach side panniers. Honda Goldwing With a couple of minor updates introduced just last year, the 6th generation wing is still as fresh as it could be. The model is offered in backer and full dresser variants, with the latter available with a 6-speed manual transmission or a 7-speed DCT. Moreover, the top-of-the-line Goldwing Tour can be had with an airbag. At the heart of the bike sits the 1,833cc horizontally opposed 6-cylinder which produces 125 horsepower and 125 pound-feet of torque. The bike's sport suspension consists of a double wishbone front fork and a pro-link unit at the rear. All of the Goldwings come equipped with a 7-inch infotainment, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, a new XM radio antenna and improved speakers rated for 55 watts. The Tours additionally get a larger 61-liter stop trunk that can finally fit two full-face helmets. Plus, the passengers benefit from a backrest with increased height and extra cushion for the added comfort. Harley Davidson Street Glide Special Arctic Blast Launched in mid 2021, this 500 unit special edition Harley is based on the popular Street Glide Special Bagger. The model puts on a unique Arctic Blast color scheme hand-painted by the renowned custom paint experts Gunslinger Custom Paint, based out of Golden, Colorado. This highly contrasting design uses three colors, a white base and two shades of blue. Plus, it features an intricate hexagon pattern on the batwing. Other components are thoroughly blacked out, plus each bike gets an individual number plate. In all the other aspects, the HD Arctic Blast remains the same upper market street glide special. Namely, it keeps the Milwaukee 8 114 V twin engine with 118 pound feet of twist, reflex linked Brembo brakes with standard ABS, responsive suspension, boombox GTX infotainment, and a bright white Daymaker LED headlamp. Yamaha FGR 1300ES 20th Anniversary Edition Yamaha's biggest sport tour celebrated its 20th anniversary this year with a little boost. For 2022, all the US destined units get standard heated grips with four presets and a glove box built into the upper fairing with a 12 volt outlet for charging. There is also an adjustable windscreen and integrated side cases. As before, the electronically controlled suspension, lean angle sensitive LED lighting, Yamaha's exclusive throttle by wire system, and advanced touring traction control remain a part of the base package. The FGR 1300TS features a beefy aluminum frame barred from Yamaha Sport machines, but the most thrilling argument comes in the form of a 142 horsepower inline four cylinder engine delivering muscular acceleration across the entire RPM range. While the US gets the 20th anniversary edition, some markets see the arrival of a different kind of FGR 1300. It wears black paintwork with gold highlights. Do you agree that there is no better way to roam the continents than a Grand Touring motorcycle? Which model deserves to be called the ultimate luxury tour of all time? Let's talk this over in the comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell and smash the like button.
follow the instructions in the pinned comment to support us. May the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!